Hello, good day, evening or night. My name is Mariana. And my name is Sara. Today, Sara and me from Bucaramanga are going to talk about a very interesting and controversial topic in these days in the country and the metropolitan area of Bucaramanga. We are going to talk about the mood of Santorban in its actual problems with the meaning and water. First, we are going to say what is the Moor of Saint Urban, where it's located, and what is its importance. The Moors are very important places in the world. They provide us with water and a lot of biodiversity of flora and fauna. Saint Urban is one of the most most known in Colombia, and this is because it's important in Santander and north of Santander. Other importance of this moor is due to its biodiversity, as there are 457 registered species of vascular plants, ferns, and related to those species, and 293 species of vertebrated fauna. This area maintains and regulates the water supply on which the development of productive process in the region depends on which supplies the inhabitants of the metropolitan areas of Bucaramanga, Cucuta, and several others in addition to its center van is the source of water used by more than 2,200,000 inhabitants. Well, although the central bank moor is great importance for our country, this moor is in danger too due to the different human activities that put it in danger. For this reason, many environmentalists and defenders of this paramo are constantly working to demand the national government to protect the Santa Barmore. And the rejection of the environmental licenses to the multinational Minesa to exploit gold in the big city of the moor. After talking about it, we will talk punctually about its main problem. There are many problems in the Santurban Moor since almost a transfer of hectares of the main water source of the region will be involved in the Angostura project of Grey Star and according to the data from the Spectador, 0.11% percentage and according to data from Vanguardia Liberal, 1.21 of percentage of the center band will be intervened in the Angostura project. It went 25,212 hectares in mining titles will have been purchased in the mountain range and $150 million have been invested in the exploration stage. Well, Sarah and Creeley being human activity in the main trees to the center band more it is important to recognize that we must give value to the environmentalists who fight every day. Yes, I'm looking for strategies to protect the area and create a new vision about the values of the Paramo and the need to guarantee its permanence in time. At Minesa Soto Norte underground mineral exploitation project in the Moor of Santurban, treating the right to water and healthy environmental, as well as endangering the lives of 2.5 million Colombians by treating the subway and surface water of this ecosystem. Additionally, it is warned that this exploitation will release toxic substances such as uranium, arsenic, and priority, which are very dangerous. This project continues, but this time the committee from the defense of water and at the center of Moore will fail a popular action. This was against the national government, the Ministry of the Environment, the National Mining Agency, the National Environmental Licensing Authority, the Regional Autonomous Corporation for the Defense of the Bucaramanga, Plateau and Minesa. They request mainly that the mining exploitation that this Arab company intends to carry out in the vicinity of the natural complex and be definitely suspended. The lawsuit will be filed before the contentious administrative court of Santander. Now we are going to talk about the organization that is making all this problematic process that is affecting the more and the animals and the people that in the metropolitan area of the Kramanga. 
Millions of Colombia are currently being affected by MINESA, an organization that has a project called MINESA Soto Norte Project. This project proposed to extract 9 million ounces of gold over 25 years in the municipalities of California and Surata. Soto Norte Province a high mountainous area of the Eastern Cordillera, where the Central Band Moor is located, which has an extension of 142,000 hectares. It is warned that this project will be end after 25 years. Minesa's project is designed to carry on mining by means of large tunnels in an area that is geological unstable and legally included within the strategic protected areas due to its environmental fragility. It proposed to expose 35,000 tons of explosive to be used for the project. This generates 77 million tons of rocks, which will be extracted by placing the tailing stand that will be in the municipality of Surata, an area of high seismic and landslide risk. Because of this, the Colombian state must assume the management of the environmental liabilities, maintain this structure in perpetuity. And it maintains its highly cost in money and socially it will have no possibility of restoration. Minesa and some local political and trade union sectors support the wise mining initiative. This assures without proof that there will be no affected ecosystem, water quality, and environment of the region. This is all for the podcast. Yes, we really hope that you like it. Remember to take care of the Santa Barbara Moor. Thank you all for listening us. Bye. Bye.